Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a two two today. We're on Alliance of Defiance. Playing today this morning in the north, we got by Snit with Soviets, who has combined arms, guard motor, and defensive. Team up with him, Hot Potato, with US has air, a rifle company rather, infantry and urban assault. On the south, we've got by with I'm guessing by infinity. I'm not sure which one, but we're gonna go with by. Uh, elite troops with Osir and Bibata also with Osir. Assault support. We have more conscripts at our disposal. Terms of rankings. Get them up. By currently ranked 68. Bibata currently ranked 115. Bison last known rank 60. That's three months ago. This replaced from July. And finally, Hot Potato currently ranked 99. Okay, combat engineers getting overwhelmed there, but nice sandbag position for the conscripts. Has not connected the fuel yet, though. MG's gonna come in. Conscripts off to the side. Oh wow, a sniper from by uh, got forced away early on. Very very low in health now as well. Doesn't have any access to healing, so <laughs> I wonder what he's gonna do with that sniper. That's <laughs> It's like dangerously low on health. You know, half health you can come back in, but under quarter health? That's really risky. One or two shots. Pulling out ball here. Conscript's doing decently from the building. Looks like maybe they're shooting at this instead of the pyro that's right in front of them, though. It's not ideal. Much better DPS in close range. Something point back and far away. It's a shot in from the sniper, then retreats it. Mm, fair enough. Another conscript waiting around the corner, but there are a couple of squads coming around from Beaver Tot, who has gone for three greens. Pretty standard stuff. Bison's had a bit of a struggle in the early game. Slowly losing ground. But the sandbags, good for Bison here. Energy inches forwards a bit. Bison here. Took both the allies off to a bit of a rough go in terms of KD, but you know, got good fuel control at least. Right now. I've been staying in there for a long time. The bunker has been converted to an emergency medical. Okay, a couple station. of squads coming around the corner. MG's are quite wide, still covers a good amount of this. Ura uh, past it anyway, just in case. So Bebo's gonna have to give up on this. Putting a bunker out the back. Just isolated pyres jumping into the building here, but not much they can do without support. Snipers retreated again. Does have healing back there. Both players now are going for that. Bebo doesn't actually have the munis for it. Maybe launched a rifle nade or something. Doesn't look like either of the Ossia players are on for a super fast 2 2 2 though. Looks like Bai is going to go for some Stormtroopers. Got an M20 up here. Kind of the Stormtroopers' worst nightmare. Their enhanced detection range. No snare on the Stormtrooper. Heavy truck, ready 
But he's playing very conservatively with M20. Maybe he wants to go for a rush on the sniper. I generally think, you know, going for a sniper and then stormtroopers, you know, you're kind of mixing two camo units and you don't have enough snares to prevent, like, vehicle dives. Potentially, you know, he's delayed his 222 and his AT gun. So this is not a very good tactic. Luckily, Hot Potato not really getting too involved. Get in 20 and the detection range is very low on stormtroopers outside of snipers. In fact, they might even be low on the snipers. Maybe not. They, I think they do have like the best uh, camouflage time. If you're going from one piece of camera to another, they stay invisible for longer than even snipers do. Okay, assault officer or artillery officer actually in this one. We are losing a sector. Not a bad option. Oh wow, conscripts ended up dying back here. Thought they were home free, but that's a late retreat. Guards coming in from Bisonet now. Activating the diversion. The enemy has broken our supply lines. No one gives accuracy boost while on the move, but received accuracy while stationary, so still helpful for those close range firefights. Panzer Green Shrek's coming in. They actually got a nice shot off on the M20. Decent rifle nade on the rifle men as well. Oh wow, Beaver Truck going for an Opal Blitz. Mm. And they're going to put it on the Muni point, it looks like. Probably the safest point on the map at this stage. I think all of these sectors are potentially open for harass. Speaking of, oh wow, fuel cash coming up over here for Hot Potato. He's picked up some bars now as well. Stormtroopers have not been upgraded from by. That is unusual. No MP40s. Should get the uh, upgrades on them. If you go G43s later on, like initially you'll have one MP40 model, but once the MP40 model dies, they'll go back to Car 98, so there's no reason not to go for MP40s in the meantime. Stronger than with the Rigia Kanani 8s. So, yeah, boosting up the munis now, people top back there. The plane in this I do like a lot. Felt like this was kind of the ultimate weapon against Soviets. Ended up becoming my favorite commander to use against Soviets in ones. This pinning was just so valuable. Sector. Bit of heavy mortar action from Bisonet as well. He's not put down tier 3, so, you know, spending a lot on those team weapons during this timing and the guards. It was strange not to see like any live vehicles really. Just the M20, no 222s even to counter it. Not what I was expecting. HQ has been upgraded. Medium armor and rocket artillery is now available. Feels like allies still have had better fuel control overall to this point in the match. Ooh, Hot Potato's been bleeding like crazy, man. That is really bad. Sniper 10 kills so far. Oh! Ready to hit a mine, Bebo Top. Squad down. Trich retreated, so I'm not sure why he's being so conservative with that. 
the green light to get in there and do something. We have another Pantagreer hitting the field though. Maybe he's going to go for another Shrek. Officer getting hit by his own heavy mortar barrage there. <laughs> well, maybe that was the 120mm. It's definitely heavy mortar barrage and a 120mm. What was landing where? I'm not sure. Soak the damage from that grenade in the heavy cover. Bebo truck on for a second Opal Blitz. I, I don't think that's a very good idea. It's a bit too greedy. Puts on the standard territory point. I mean, just in general, going for Opal Blitz is maybe a little bit greedy in a team game situation since it doesn't boost up your ally. I can maybe understand it because it's easier to keep alive than the caches because you can drive around, you can avoid getting killed if you get pushed off in that area, but going for two of them I think is asking for trouble, asking to get forced off the map and just, uh, you know, you're getting extra resources from the trucks but then you're losing resources from having poor map control. Okay, on stage of tech for Bison Net up in the corner there. Mass up. Listen carefully. What the hell am I meant to do with these? Feel like this M20 hasn't been used to its full potential. Should have been able to get more done with it. Up against, you know, just yes. one set of Panzer Shreks. That's it. One Faust. Should be easy for the M20 to just dice up all this infantry. Three Panzer Greens and the Stormtroopers for buy though. Off for some G43s as I was expecting. As I said, you know, no reason not to go for the MP40s on the Stormtroopers in the meantime. This is not what you want to be doing, like trying to fight this unit in heavy cover. You want to be trying to come in from a flank, maybe forcing them to reposition, and maybe you've got a machine gun coming from here, then they get suppressed or Try to force some alternative angles. You know, they're also pretty happy to sit and cover, wait for the Pigreens to come up to fire off a volley. Now, you know, you're taking a lot of damage, you've only done one model out for repairs again. It's just not a very good pattern to be in. Center. T-34 popping out 13 minutes, this is a pretty fast one. And the Axis are not that well prepared, Bebotot's got his own tank in production, not here yet. Skip tier 2 by the way, so not entirely unexpected, in fact both players did. That's why we didn't see any 2 2 so they're both going for some tech skips. I think this is random teams, so, you know. Well, this player's going for a tech skip, I think it's tough. You're going to need packs at some stage, right? And, uh, plans are falling now for buy in production. You can see it's a little bit behind in fuel because of that Opal Blitz boosting up the resources from this point for a while. Two P-Greens with tricks. Bison it. no AT gun yet himself. Hot Potato has a lot of manpower even after starting an easy ace. Still 600 left in the bank. The allies themselves did have that cash up for quite a long time, so they've had, ooh, enhanced resources. Nice dive after the sniper by the M20 gets the kill. Just gonna have a hard time getting out of here. Oh, he's so fast though, Vet 3. Look at that thing go. Greedy's coming in with the Faust though. Oh. Yeah, he's going to get it off. Now 
of control. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Yeah, I mean, I think I'd probably be reasonably happy with that, killing off the sniper with M20. The game's gonna kind of close up for the M20 a bit. Gonna get herded away by these Panzer Fours. Not gonna be free to do damage, more of a recon tool, so. That's a fine trade, I think. Okay, that's a snare off on the P4's button. The T-34's rolling in. Should merge into the guards. Maybe got suppressed when they managed. T-34 bounces his first shot, decides... Yeah, alright, that'll do. Can understand if he pinned. Keeping going there, but... Respectable disengage. So he's got the easy aid on the field. Not the best against infantry. Might struggle a bit against the Shreks. Will do very well against the Panzer IVs though. Kite the Shreks. Try to force them to fire at max range. High chance to miss. There's this rolled up here. But under pressure from some P-Greens from the side has to give up and now the T-34 itself got an engine crit. Back out for repairs. This was easy 8 He's built another cache, another fuel cache. The bazookas on the rear echelon as well. Elevation there. Showing most of the damage. about healthy again. Easy yet comes back in. Good major artillery out the back. There's a bit of repairs to go. Get two on the rear echelon. He could just, you know, repair with those. And he's making a bit of a move with his easy eight. I think he could do with a machine gun, especially now the sniper's gone down. Could be quite helpful against all these G43 wielding units, even though they do have quite a lot of sight. You know, if you're spotting for them with a squad of riflemen, bringing 50 cal. Top with you, uh, long range firepower. He's coming back in. Position down here for Bisonet. Guys off to the side. Engine needs to get out of there for a bite. Oh, he's a little bit tunnel visioned. He lost his machine gun. He force coming in. Guard's gonna try to steal it, it looks like. Just to pack it up still, and he's slow on the retreat after crewing it. Does not get away. I think even if he was insta on the retreat, would have got decrewed again, but... Could have been closer. Maybe if he smoked it with the heavy mortar. Could have escaped there. It's you know, easy to forget to do that. Oh! Cruise that with uh, Panzer Goons, by the way, so it's going to be expensive to reinforce. Taking time to kill off the tank traps. No cover for you, allies. Taylor has so many resources floating, really needs to spin through some of this. It's a booby trap down here as well. Only hit one squad though, not too bad. Let's get more easy eights in production. Mark vehicle, P4 backed away. Werfer coming in. Oh, that's a nasty Werfer. 16 kills. I was pretty sure that was the first barrage. Conscript down. Zisty crews. Man. Now, 
outside of some absolute like donkey 4v4 this might have been the best whiff of barrage I've seen area anyway finally hop to start out that second easy at like 60 fuel late though pretty much two minutes after he had the resources together to build it and that matters could have got a bit of a roll on with double easy eights probably killed off this panzer four it's given by time to bank up some resources looks like he might be storing for a tiger ace though i'm not sure also could build another tank at this stage, but has not. Also has not gone for Battle Phase 3 yet. Does this uh, benefit P-Greens as well? We are no. A sector. So yeah, there's no point in really ticking up to get a manpower cost reduction. Squad or buy. It's barely going to affect any of his units. Doing work. Bevo did eventually have to back tech to get the pack. Get two on the two thirty four. Still all right. Shrek under from Shrek knocking out the cash. Smoke from the Sherman. If we're thinking about making a move from the side, doesn't decide to do that. Some interesting driving there. Cars doing their best. Force one retreat. Picking the Shreks, not overextending here. Steady as she goes though with easy eight. Only six kills with uh, this one for Hot Potato. Okay, that was an easy dodge on the frag bombs. Another T-34 now for Bisonet. Just sticking with the 76s as well. Not going for the 85s. Bio's down. It sounded like it was two grenades. Not such a good strike that time with the Werfer. Bad scatter. Good pack positioning though to counter these Soviet mediums. Chase through the smoke. There are a lot of Shreks here. Understandable, but a little bit disappointing. We're very close to the ace now. Has been letting buy off a little bit easy, I think. A couple good shots there, though, from the D8s. And they do have slightly better armor than the regular Sherman, so. Saw a Shrek actually bouncing off the front. Oh, Bebo loses another Pyo on the fuel. Whoops. Needs it too. That's his only repair squad and the P4 is out. What health. Heck rolling up. Bison it wants to hold on to the Zis. Faust in on the T-34. Gonna go for the kill on the Zis. 
Well cleaned up there by the Axis, and here comes the big boy, the Ace. This could be a bit of a turning point. We've got a third easy eight popping out for Hot Potato though. Still has a lot of manpower free after all this as well. Did build a third rifle though. Could go for something like a mortar as well, just for a bit of smoke potentially. Okay, coming in from the side. As it falls in some trouble, SU-85 slow reaction for buy, but the SU-85 missed a shot. Oh, but Panzer IV is going to survive nonetheless. That was cool. Got guns forced back by the Phosphorus. Night vehicle on the pace. Loading in the phosphorus though. Ooh, big connection from the Shreks. Oh, big booby trap. And the riflemen go down because of that. My vehicle plane shot down. Comes the Werfer. Riflemen get past it. Comes the Kachusha now back the other way. Okay, Easy 8's coming back in, Mark Vehicles. Sort of a few seconds of activity left. Uh, they're bouncing every shot. Pinning plane now shutting down the Soviet aggression, keeping these packs safe. So two riflemen, they haven't been suppressed yet. Packs are resilient, the Easy 8's kind of switching between targets. And this one, having some pathfinding issues, gets slammed by every vehicle in the game. On the opposing side. Remember that officer, very good vision tool in the late game. guy. See how far he sees. Really, really good. Just back and forth hot potato with those easy eights. The tricks are keeping them in check quite well. Missing that high explosive goodness. Just easier tank to use though, the Easy 8. More durable. Don't have to worry about switching rounds. Grenadier goes down. That was the uh, only grin by hat. Potato still trying to save up for another tank, but the uh, Axis have been choking the Allies out on fuel. Oh, accidentally runs past here. Maybe if he just right click this right now, he could still get it even though everything's suppressed. No, accuracy is just too bad. Well, I might miss there. Double easy eight's coming down here though. So is the tiger. Gets low, gets behind the shrubs. And it doesn't get the job done. Here come the Shreks now. Oof. Good connection. Hack up D crews. The Easy 8 went down. Wow, I thought that that was home free. It must have been some bad driving for it to die there. A bit of blitz action from the Ace as well. And they're going to lose another cash here. We were chat tots, I think. He's lost both of his packs. T34, Vet 3. Look how fast it is. Bounces one shot. Looking to get on the rear armor. But here comes a Tiger now from Bebo Tot. And then the T34 misses another shot. 
extremely lucky that Panzer IV survived. Oh, the ace. Almost a hot potato's base. He's switching over to the Jackson now to continue with that. I do really think that Hot Potato with better control could have overrun by before the haste hit the field. Lacking a bit of vehicular finesse it seems. A second SU-85 for Bisonet as well so this Tiger from Bevo Titan might actually struggle quite a lot now that he's lost both his packs. Only one uh, engineer though for Bicenet, so maybe you won't have too many mines down. Maybe we could get a bit of a flank going on these Soviet vehicles. As a means to counter. Guys do have, you know, about 130 victory point lead. Enemy forces are securing our territory. The Jackson arriving, making some headway again. Hot potato. Five's lining up, they switch sides a bit. And Sectish though, keeping them safe. Tiger popping that spearhead mode, boosting up his vision. Ooh! Okay, last volley of rockets, that was a close call. Nine kills on that. Shoots, it's okay, not incredible. So yeah, Hot Potato has been bleeding like crazy all game in spite of having such a huge amount of manpower in reserve. Bison has been doing well though. As Soviets with conscripts getting that kind of KD, that's a winning record. Mine are just still getting planted there. Trying to hide behind these buildings away from the reach of the SU-85s. Shots. Oh, Major goes down. It's a shame, that's a really helpful vision tool. Helpful for getting, you know, more value out of your Jackson, able to fire long range, fix that Major's vision. Without constantly getting bled. Heavy mortar hanging on by a thread. In. Jackson's doing pretty well. Nearly bit two now. Oh, conscripts got AT nade off. In fact, both of these tanks wounded, but here comes a Stug. Jackson decided to back away. Our opponents are seizing the sector. Yeah, our support. Easy eight. Okay, I thought it might be making some moves. Maybe it is. Full health, Vet 3. Don't think he wants to take on the Tiger with it though, still. Gonna come down for the uh, Opal Blitz. Yeah. He goes up. Doesn't really need the fuel so much anymore, but you know, the Muni's shutting that down. Helpful. Still holding on the victory points that you know, 
Doing well in that regard. See, uh, army size is now Hot Potato 7 Jackson, so that'll bring him closer. But still floating like 600 manpower the whole game. Oh, struck in a bit of trouble. Oh, but Jackson missing some shots here. Struck might be one shot there, I'm not entirely sure. Frag bombs coming down. Oh, there go the riflemen. Tricks causing some trouble for these US tanks as well. Oh, the P4 goes down. One well, EC-85 is in trouble though, Tiger's making some moves here. He's gonna survive, no Ura into AT nade from Bison here, yeah, I suppose he's long use. Here come the Shrek's from the side though, he's tunnel vision. Oh, he's not noticed this at all. And there goes the EC-85. Ends up being pretty good for the Axis in the end. Oh, that was way too deep for way too long. The Shrek's... Oh, the big crush! Huge plays from Bison there. Okay, two Jacksons are healthy again. If they come back and kill the Stug, that would be big. It has quite a lot of rebuilding to do after all those losses. Do you remember Rifleman do have sprint in this commander as well? I don't think we've seen that from Hot Potato yet, but that was a prime time to go for a sprint and to sneer on the Tiger. up going down anyway. Seems like Hot Potato may be a little bit out of the depth in this game. So we are few, uh, in mistakes situation. like that showing up. Okay, here it comes. G down over here to the T-34. Not the best Kachusha. Wow. How does he have vision? Is that the Tiger providing that? Oh, maybe it's the Stormtroopers. They also have pretty good vision with the G43 package. Okay, second S-85 from Bisonet. At the moment, the Allies are struggling for anti-infantry. Panzer Grenadiers have been given way too much opportunity to be successful. Remember, you've got the emergency repair in this Tiger Ace, so. Nice little spare it. There's not much else than this commander using unis on. Oh, the Tiger! Vet 3 now. Pretty much two shot that. With the lion's share of the work. Low strange Kachusha here. The problem is they don't have uh, enough of a front line to actually force away the Shreks anymore. They lost so many squads. He's finally going to build an AT gun. I mean a uh, machine gun now though. Oh, just threw away that conscript there by Sinet. I think busy trying to dodge with the Kachusha was getting whiffed at. S-85 
35s here lining up. He's dropping down the uh, automated barrage. More rockets coming in. Garage on the engineers. Jackson very low. Bit of a traffic jam back there as well. Tiger's such a monster now with Vet 3. It's actually a pretty good use of the smoke. Still just attack rounding though onto the machine gun. Night vehicle on the ace. T-34 out for repairs. Building another T-34. I wonder if he's going to go for a suicide mission with this one. I find these workers out the back. Two of them now, so it does make it very worthwhile if you can knock out both. See the lack of infantry. Strix just cannot be stopped by Hot Potato right now. That Scott's doing all right, but has to stay on its toes as well. And the Allies are getting forced almost completely off the map here. Still have control of this victory point at least. And the Axis are down to just 73 points. And the double workers in the base. Ooh. Oh my god, then the Strug missed. Scott hit Vet 1, Strug missed again. Thought the Scott might go for a quick smoke there after hitting Vet 1. Might have been able to save the day, but just get lucky, you know. Saw that earlier from Bebo Tops Panzer 4. Bison there, he's, what is he doing? Has he gone completely AFK? <laughs> what a comedy this is. Like, what was that? This is VIP 2 or VIP 3, S-35, and just left it sitting there. Luckily, you out-repaired him, the pack missed a couple shots. Well, there we go, nice ram penetrates, and then finished it off. Jackson's coming across now as well. Recruise the pack. He's ready five, Jackson. Oh boy, Jackson's spinning one way, Tarp's trying to go the other. Oh, what a bad way to handle you, Jackson's missed kill opportunity on this Panzer IV. At least the pack decrewed again, and maybe Bisonet could crew that. Could still do with an AT gun, the uh, allies. We will use ready five. And the Panzer IV stopped here for some reason, instead of backing all the way to base. Jackson's moving up nicely. All the tricks. We go for the Jackson. I thought they might have an opportunity to get on that SU-85 out the back. They lost their speed buff. This one doesn't have to get one yet. Not particularly impressive worth it. But nobody's recruited the pack yet. Axis did go out to their far edge. Could be a good booby trap over there as well. Okay, so another Scott for Hot Potatoes. Scott's and Jackson's. Do you remember Rifeman also had flares, so... Can be good spotting for your Scott's. This uh, phosphorus, uh, not a big fan of it for how much it costs. I think it's overpriced. It doesn't kill with its phosphorus, so it's just. Never felt that good to me. Comes the worth up. He's taking a battering. Two shit out the back, going after the Werfers. Ooh, nearly gets one too. Get 
Did indeed steal that pack. Bring the officer's artillery on it though. Only 200 points remain. Double your efforts. Okay, now, so allies taking down to 200. They need to do something about this far VP. Hot Potato has finally spent through his manpower reserves though. Sound like it really were for cancel, only two or three rockets landing. T-34's going in, saw the Werfer, heard the Werfer, but runs into a fresh panther back here. Backed away, then tried to go in, then trying to back away again. Not ideal for Bisonet. Just needed a hard commit there, probably could have killed the Werfer, maybe even both of them if he just rolled right through, but a bit of indecisiveness there. Initial reaction was to dodge backwards. It's the worst of both worlds. No whiff kills. T34 down. A lot of tank destroyers for the allies. How are they able to use them though? That's a big question. Stop the clock down to 161. Trips the repairs with that uh, Katusha. Always getting a bit low, Jackson. Okay. Right, vehicle up on the Panther, that got low. Maybe a little bit of run of extinction on the pack here for Bevo Top. Right, vehicle plane shot down. The double Jacksons, and there goes the Stug. Planes coming in for Bebo Tot down here. Should allow a safe escape of this pack. Looks like that was the Lovet Strug at least, maybe a fresh one. Double Jackson miss. Oops, the uh, heat round I think it is. Yet, meanwhile, just camped out on the side, not getting involved at all. And the box is head back in, the guards pinned. Kane's going to lock onto those guys next, and finally. Oh, actually got the squad wipe on them. Wow. Better damage than it usually does when the unit's out in the open when it was retreating there. That's strange. It was kind of lined up well along the retreat path though. So we're taking a lot of shots from it. Rebuild on the Major. As I said, four vision is not a bad call. Nice little Scott shot. Maybe could steal the Shrek. Pushes all the way up with this pack. Tries to use Tiger Weak Point. That's not working. Oh, there goes one of the Jacksons. Seems like the Worf is kind of softening up those US tanks. It's already five keeping that Panther contained, though. Might be a bit of a battle for this pack. So Bisonet's going to be the one holding on to it for now, but here comes a second panther from Bebo Top. Those panthers in here. The script's going to get his snare off on the new one though. Oh, panther misses the kill shot. What about the pack? Right, he's got decrewed. Picks him off. Unfortunate. And Kachusha forcing the retreats as well. The Werfers. The 
Yeah, good action out the back there. So Bivotot still has hopes of holding on to this pack. It's so far forwards though. Hard to defend. And there we go, we've got some flares coming up now. I'm guessing from the rifleman. That's what I was hoping for earlier. Some sort of hot potato. Remembering to use that now, it's great to see. So much value. Sherman ready to go. Okay, we've got two easy eights and a Jackson. That's a lot of tanks. Did get a muni cash down here from Bai at one stage. He is pretty close to his pop cap limit. So there's a bit of free manpower. How's that ace doing? 37 kills. Pretty good. 64 though on the uh, T-34 that's been uh, alive since the 13 minute mark I believe. Very good job keeping that bad boy on field. Close call for the Stug. One pack D crew by the Werfer. So the Mages, no, early retreat from the Pegreens. I mean not Pegreens, the Stormtroopers. the easy eights may be uh, considering coming in from the side. Jackson's still getting repaired though. Victory points have just about evened out. Axis have been doing pretty well the last few minutes. Stronghold on the center and right. s is getting involved. Guards trying to go for the capture. I got a little bit close though for the ace to be able to get a couple shots in. The easy eight's coming in from the side. They're making some moves, but there's a pack back here. There's a lot of Panthers. Seems a little bit misguided. Now the phosphorus on the pack. Stug takes a main gun crit. It was off the Stug at least, but two easy eights didn't really accomplish much at all. But Jackson was very slow assisting in the chase. Stug probably could have gone down a lot earlier if Jackson was there immediately for support, but it was being repaired. Goes for the ram, S35 goes down, the ram does penetrate, but I don't think he's got the killing power to actually finish this off. He's coming in, that Vet 3 T-34, so fast, bounces first shot, gets clear of the pack, but the Tiger Ace is back there, can the T-34 hero escape? Oh, the Ace is blitzing after it. And yeah, that's so fast with that. Rifeman down meanwhile though, and uh, this T-34 also going to fall. Bunker. Oh, but the conscripts down to a bundle grenade. The enemy is attacking one of our forward buildings. Three ready to Missing deploy. a lot of shots with that Jackson. Oh, gets target weak pointed. To back away in time though. Some on field repairs. Just enough so the Jackson survived that second shot. Now, as a push all the way back here, now though, you can see Axis with way larger armies. Guards go down. And that's it. Allies throw in the towel there. Yeah, seemed like Hot Potato may be a little bit out of his depth in this game. Just the, the tank handling wasn't quite there. I can maybe understand the move, the easy eight move. But as I said, he needs the Jackson there right from the start of that, f that push. Could have killed the Strug off earlier. Gave a lot more time to the Easy 8s to get some damage done with that dive. But it did not work out at all. But yeah, well done by the Axis. Hanging tough.
Can't believe that these Peewins did as well as they did this game. Just hot potato, I think, yeah. Too much float. Didn't have enough screening infantry and just anti-infantry in general to force back the Shreks. You know, the Scots later on were doing very well, especially this one, 25 kills. He got that quite late in the game, but too little too late seemed to be in the end. You uh, lucky breaks going both ways in terms of misses and stuff, but that's how it goes. What the Werfers do, 12 and 11, not too bad. I'm surprised it got Vet3 with just 12 kills. I was going for quite a few... Uh, shots on the tanks mainly and you know the workers were doing decent damage to those US tanks but yeah I do think maybe the uh, allies uh, neglecting mines a bit this game that could have been quite useful it seemed like there was a lot of sweeping going on but yeah overall well, well played good job hanging in there from the axis so far but I'm behind on victory points at one stage well anyway guys wrap on that if you like what game recast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.